Buckingham Palace has just announced that Prince Philip is hospitalized this morning for an infection. Queen Elizabeth carried on with her commitment at today's state opening of Parliament. Jonathan Bigliotti is outside Buckingham Palace in London right now with the latest. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. Prince Philip was taken to the hospital late last night. Buckingham Palace officials characterizing his treatment as an infection. In a statement, the palace going on to say it was a precautionary measure and that his illness is related to a pre-existing condition. Prince Philip just turned 96 two weeks ago. His stay at the hospital means he missed Queen Elizabeth's appearance at today's state opening of Parliament, where she laid out the government's agenda for the next two years. The Queen did not reference her husband's condition, but in that speech, she said the government will review the country's counterterrorism strategy and made no mention of President Trump's scheduled state visit. She also outlined plans for the UK's departure from the European Union. We're told the Queen will be monitoring Prince Philip's health remotely. In May, representatives for the royal family announced the prince would be stepping down from public events. At that time, they said the prince's health was not a factor in that decision. Buckingham Palace does say that the prince remains in good spirits, but Charlie, at this point, it's still unclear how long he will remain hospitalized for. Jonathan Bigliotti outside Buckingham Palace. Thank you, Jonathan.